definitely that's not my color um, welcome at my YouTube channel Henry Botnik Archery and Adventures a few minutes ago we made a video for Tom and Archers Empire and want to tell the people the archers the bow hunters how to wax their string because a few people were contacting them and uh, Tom was not sure about all the background information and the details how to wax a string and so we already made this uh, video in German language and I forced my son who is running the Archer's Empire shop and the Botnik Bows uh, online sh uh, shop to uh, create the video again in English language for our English language community around the world and Tom so now it's your time to come in and uh, please ask me the questions again to make it more natural. Hi, greetings. Okay, so as you already mentioned, we uh, already made that video, but uh, so just that you know, the German video made, we made kind of about just I'm asking you questions and you're answering about and I'm trying to repeat the question as similar as possible so that you have kind of the same experience and the same knowledge as in the German video. Hey, I am a little bit thrilled about his English knowledge and uh, about his language. He's doing fine, in my opinion. Hey, what do you think? Thank so, you. Uh, first question. Yes, the first question was uh, because you already, uh, not already, always told me about the string and how important it is and talked pretty much about it, but I didn't listen very good about this. So please tell me, why is the string so important and for what is the string in general? Yeah, basically in the energy re reset, um, the string is a really important part because the string is transporting a part of the stored energy from the limbs to the arrow. Basically, I'm telling the people every time you can improve the energy transport from the limb to the arrow roughly up to 20%. This is, of course, an extreme example. Uh, uh, th this means I'm talking about, for example, uh, when you're using a 16 strand Dacron string yeah. uh, um, in, in, in comparison to uh, eight whisper strand string. whisper string. Yeah. So, and maybe you are also uh, using a string silencer on the Dacron string, then the whisper string will transport automatically uh, roughly between 15 and 20 percent more energy and this is displaying very clear that the string is a really important part of the bow and of course you have to take care and the wax is the material to improve the uh, 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 Life, uh, lifetime yeah the lifetime of the string and also the energy transport yeah therefore the first question would be you already uh, answered it a bit why do we need to wax the string and how often do we need to do this? Yeah, basically why? Because when you are using the bow, uh, the string getting more and more dry. This means when you are drawing the bow, releasing the string, shooting the arrow, wax will disappear from the string and the string will get drier and drier. And, uh, and in the worst uh, uh, case, you can get a string break. I got a string break uh, uh, two times during my lifetime. One time uh, I, I, I really pushed the limits because I was shooting a six, six strand whisper string with a 60 pound bow. Uh, yeah, 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 believe me. Uh, uh, I was shooting roughly uh, around a half year and I got a break uh, in the middle of the string here, right above the center serving. And one time I got the break of the string right here but basically i think i uh, had a sharp edge here right uh, in the in the string groove mm -hmm. but i never got the string break because when my string uh, is starting to turn the color so yeah. it's it, it's displaying because uh, you will uh, realize that you can uh, uh, locate the single strands of the string and it's getting a little bit let's say shiny dry yeah, and like like a white yeah white surface yeah so it, it will turn the color a little bit to white and then it's the right time to wax the string what i'm telling the people at my archery classes um, is if you have a high uh, quantity of uh, uh, practice Basically, you should wax your string every week, but uh, latest every month, one time. You're already answering the questions I'm wanting to ask. Yeah, the, the next question would have been, 
how often yeah. do we need to wax the string and does it depend on how much do uh, I use the bow? Yes, of course. If you if you practice every day, basically one times a week you should wax your string. And if uh, basically you're shooting one times a week or uh, all two weeks, basically every month, of course, you should wax your string because okay. it will uh, help and increase the lifetime of your string. Okay, perfect. Then one of the most important questions, but maybe uh, one which is easier to ask, uh, easier to show is. How do I wax the string? Yeah, that's pretty simple. So um, what I really like is the wax you are selling here is uh, German quality. So Steve, yeah. uh, uh, Steve Kuhn. Steve uh, is, from uh, BSE, Archery it, Extreme. Yeah, from Archery Extreme. Uh, he is producing the string wax here. It's a natural bee wax with some ingredients, of course, for example, to make it uh, UV resistant uh, to get uh, the, the string with some ingredients to get it a little bit smoother but yeah. what I really like is that the string is not so freaking smooth like some of the other strings who are available in the market so in my opinion it's the right density here of the, str uh, of string, the, wax. Of the string wax yes yeah. and maybe a point which is not important for you but could be for somebody it has a nice smell yeah yeah yeah, I like it really. Somehow it, it reminds me on a cedar arrow. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now just uh, because you all, uh, also mentioned it in the German video, here at the top of the string, I see it, we have some kind of loose strands. How do we deal with those? Yeah, so the, the strings mostly used in the traditional area are uh, Flemish strings. This means they are handmade out of a few different strands and like you see here one of the strands is coming out it's pretty simple so i have here a lighter in my pocket just be carefully but with the lighter you can touch it a little bit you see here still just touch it and it's done so melting the string material together and everything is fine Okay, perfect. Now to the most important part. Yeah, so how do we wax the string? Yeah, this one here, the, the round cube here is 19 gram and this little stick yeah, here is... We have, we have two versions, so maybe just to show you these. Uh, of course, they are available at our online shop, botnikbows-shop.com. Uh, we only have this wax because it's just astonishing quality and we get such a good feedback that we say we don't have to uh, take anything else in our product sortiment. We have here a 19 gram version, which comes in a nice little uh, metal case with, uh, how do I call it? Leather, uh, leather uh, thing. Let's yeah, just call a piece it. of leather. Yeah, uh, why this is important, you will see in a few minutes or seconds. And then a second version, which is kind of like a lipstick here, 11 grams and it comes out just like this and in my opinion this one is perfect to take it with you at the parkour when you uh, have hey boys quick. hey boys what i want to tell you uh, this is string mix don't use it to put some gloss on your lips ah. or whatever you young guys you hey, hey, hey we never know what you're doing okay eh? now don't I get know, crazy don't get now crazy now i know why i got some done <laughs> at the parkour yeah so how to string how to get the wax yeah. on the right way to the string how i am doing it and i like these little sticks here so they are working pretty fine for me just put the finger here inside to put a little bit pressure that it will not slip in and then fast movement here and put the string and the wax on this Looks like you're pretty familiar with this motion. Jesus Christ, you know what? I'm growing up this guy and now he's, he's bad, bad mouse talking, huh? Yeah, just saying. Mm. Uh, I know you're, where you got this from. And uh, you're used to waxing That's your not ball. from your mom. <laughs> Let's just say you're used to waxing your string. Absolutely, absolutely. Perfect. So, and here, yeah, just also here, the end of the string, the splice, where the different strands are coming together, just wax it there, heavily waxed. So the string material for the workshop who are uh, 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 hand 
crafting the strings is coming pre-waxed and we are purchasing our string material it's called heavy wax so they are they are naturally from the producer of the string material wax so now so so we don't have to wax the string right away after we got it no 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 it's, uh, it's or for our strings yeah that's pretty pretty fine wax now we put the wax there but now we have to take care that wax and your string is coming together getting connected and you have to put this little piece of leather here move pretty fast I'm not judging and <laughs> so put it this year why why do we have to go over this again with the leather yes yeah. so I am feeling the heat now here okay. it's getting hot on my fingers so the string the wax materials getting some kind of liquid smoothing it yeah, up. Yeah, of course because it's a bee wax it's it's getting or starts to getting uh, liquid when you put some heat on it yeah yeah yeah, okay. yeah. and now now it's your time to show <laughs> us if you are able to get it done on the right way in, in the same position yeah absolutely i want okay, to see I this will. yeah yeah, maybe I should give you a little bit of a hold up. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry for this. Okay. Right to the top? Yeah, fine, fine. Okay. Yeah, also here in the splice. So in my opinion, the best way is to wax it here uh, at the bow. But of course, you can put somewhere a pin, take one of the loop, if the string is not uh, uh, at the strong bow, put it there and wax it. It's also possible. So I, I'm sure some guys will bad mouse talk us because our bow is strong. Yeah, absolutely yeah. about this technical, this special technique we are using. So in my opinion, uh, did I mention that this is not my color? Yeah, you mentioned it right at the start. Right? Yeah, but some, some. So this right now you're holding in your hands is the bow of my girlfriend, and oh, she, Jesus she really loves it. But I know there are a few guys around who are really, really. Uh, Hot about a pink bow, huh? Pink? Yeah, that's right. That's that's why we put it again in our web shop. So right now the slick stick is again available in the action wood pink and blue, and maybe following action wood red, orange, green. Yeah, I'm more the guy with a green, with a chameleon green, or with a charcoal, with a dark one. But I know for some pink panders who are around there in archery and bow on it, this bow will be the right one. But basically to come back yeah so right now the string is waxed uh, you see that it now has like a shiny finish yeah and when you touch it you feel that it's kind of sticky so that's a good uh, thing to see if the string is waxed yeah what i want to tell you also is uh, people are asking me also how often they should change the string yeah. it depends of course also how often uh, uh, you are shooting and how much you are using the string but what i'm telling the people every time after one year of usement in archery of course in bow hunting the most people don't use their bow so much but if you are practicing a lot Basically, I'm telling the people after one year of usement, please change your strings because what you don't want to get is that the bow or the string will break at the full draw or when you are shooting. That's not a good feeling, I can yeah, tell you. Like, like a bit of a prevention. Don't shoot the string until it rips apart. Change it before it. Hey, hey, apart. Come on, give me, give me a right spined arrow. I want to shoot this. Pink this, panda. This is difficult. I don't know if we have any. Let me see what's going on here. We 700, think, 400. I think the highest one we would have is a 700. Oh, 700. That's a 20 pounder. So the 700 is a little bit of stiff, but I like to give this little pink panda a shot. Uh, to the left, like it used to be with a bit of a spine which is too high. I'm more with a 60 pounds, you know, 60 years, 60 pounds, but uh, I, I think that's fine for you. Yeah. Basically, thanks for watching my video, the English version of how to string the wax here at Henry Botnik's Archery and Adventures. So if you have more questions, just comment below, share the video. I'm happy to pass my uh, uh, knowledge and my passion to you. And thanks for your questions. Ah, of course, you're welcome. Perfect. Also from me, thank you very much. And I would say bye. Bye.